the health and well-being of human populations relies on control of infectious diseases microbes are responsible for great human misery in the past microbes and parasites that coexist with the host can be divided into three groups based on their relationships normal microflora is a community of microorganisms which resides in every healthy host some of them turn opportunistic pathogens and many of them are the disease causing microorganisms some of them cause long term infections called chronic infections and some of them cause acute infections our understanding of relationship between pathogenic microbes and disease symptoms has increased markedly since the pioneering studies of robert koch who clearly defined the causal relationship between infectious disease and a specific bacterium the diseases can be contracted through human contact and through air and water they can be food and soil borne some are sexually transmitted others are vector borne and a few are through animal contact several microorganisms cause disease in plants like wheat rice potato sugarcane orange and others these diseases causing microorganisms extensively affect the crop yield food poisoning also called food borne illness is the illness caused by eating contaminated food infectious organisms including bacteria viruses and parasites or their toxins are the most common causes of food poisoning infectious organisms or their toxins can contaminate food at any point of processing or production and serving contamination can also occur at home if food is incorrectly handled or cooked algal boom in water that is rapid growth of algae causes poisonous effect after they die which in turn results in death of aquatic organisms so this was the world of microbes some of them are harmful to us but majority of them are useful to us